the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight's broadcast will feature the Denver Nuggets as they go up against the Celtics out in Boston. For Boston, they come into this game following a loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. A crushing defeat in that one. Still with a sour taste in their mouths, they're looking to play much better. Well, Boston had been in a, a bit of a rebuild since the end of the days of the Big Three. Last season, they got back into the postseason. Shaq, where do you see this team going in the next few years? Well, they have great guards to build around, and they can continue to be big players in the free agency for the next few seasons. they got to make all the right moves. Their president, I play for him. He's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. You know what? I could see them trying to strive for the modern version of a lot of NBA teams. That means getting three-point shooters. If they get more three-point shooters building around that, some crisp passing, Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harley. Glad to have you with us. We're broadcasting live from Boston, the home of the Celtics. And, of course, Gary Harris. Despite what he brought to this team in his absence, they've really taken off. Well, Kevin, no question it's a um, risky deal to make because you can sometimes sour your fans when you do that. I mean, trading one of the most popular players on the team is always high risk, no matter what you get in return. Yeah, but it's a trade that I'm sure a lot of fans will second guess. Clearly a bold move, but as a GM, these are the things that are supposed to happen. You're going to bring scrutiny, and you just have to wait and see how this plays out. You have to focus on the big picture and what's going to be best for your organization moving forward. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. They've got Robertson. Chris Middleton is out there with Moutier. Then there's Kenneth Fareed. Now here's Thomas. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. Here's Hudson, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved a layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. The Celtics shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about too much this season, guys. Now here's Fareed, an 11-point game for him in the win against New York. Yeah, but Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. I mean, he was aggressive to attack the D, not settling, and really did a good job of cashing in on those free throws. So it's Boston now, after Chris Middleton missed from long range. That one is good for him. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball in rhythm. Denver's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, Kevin, thanks. I caught up with the Nuggets head coach. We talked about the keys to this game, and he singled out Paul Millsap as a player they've simply got to be mindful of. Coach told me he's always been an energy guy, someone you have to locate and box out every possession. But he's developed his offensive game to the point where he's more than just a hustle guy. He's also a scoring threat now, and a guy we can't leave open. They'll be watching us, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. Moutier with the basket. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? For Boston, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Perry passes to Millsap. Nice ball movement by Boston. Dishes at the Middleton. Three-pointer, and again, Denver with the triple. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. And that one's good. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Here's Jokic. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. No one near Moutier as he lets it go. And it's Denver scoring again. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, Thomas passes to Perry. 
Soft touch off the glass. Garbage man's got six. Nuggets have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. With the floater, and it's Moutier getting it to go. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against New York. And in that game, guys, they were just about as dominant defensively on the interior as you could ever be. And once they got a few rejections, they had opposing scores looking for those long arms and hands. And it caused hesitation in taking shots in there. Here's Jokic. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Boston trailing. Here's Crowder. The shot is off. Some solid defense from Fareed. For Denver, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Here's Moutier. Hits the three-point foul. Moutier's got ten points. A wide-open three. They need much better communication defensively. Thomas passes to Perry. That's good. And it's Thomas picking up the assist. Eight points for Freak. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given. He's been a key contributor for them in this quarter. They can't guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. This book has some information for us, Doris. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Brad Stevens was giving to his team. For Boston, they come into this one following a loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. And one of the factors, Kevin, that really hurt them in that game, the lack of success at the foul line. We all know how much those free throw woes can cost you. And it gave those opposing fans a boost every time another foul shot clanged off the rim. I mean, that's an easy way to get the home crowd in your grill. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So on the floor for Denver, Boudier out there with Chris Middleton, then there's Hill, then it's Kaminsky, and it's Fareed in at the four spot. They set the pick. Thomas passes to Perry. Right through the D for the layup. Garbage man's got 10 points in the game. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Well, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range, so I'd have to agree with you, partner. That is good. Yes. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Now, here's Thomas. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. The shot is good, and the Nugget lead has got back down to a seven-point margin, getting the points there from Perry. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And, Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Here's Fareed. No luck. And it's Boston the other way. They beat the Nuggets during their last encounter in Denver. And whether by design or by accident, they drew so many fouls in that game. Foul trouble for the other side became a huge issue. And as a result, there was a blowout win. I mean, credit them for initiating contact and forcing the officials to make the calls. Now, here's Moutier. He's guarded by Thomas for three. Middleton. Home hill set with the rebound. Celtics trail by five. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Here's Middleton. Here's Hill. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Nuggets. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on this player has caught him off guard, playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Crowder, he's checked in for the Celtics. No free throws, good from Hill. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. 
And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. No good from Perry. Denver leading by seven. Moutier kicks to Middleton. Outside Hill. A three. And he gets it to go. Hill's got eight points. The Celtics have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And the foul called on three. That's his first foul. Checking in for your Celtics. Easy. Hudson. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. You know, a huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. Celtics trail by 13. Kicks it to Hudson to stop the run. That's good. It's Thomas picking up the assist. Thomas got his sixth assist on the night. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Moutier kicks to Hill. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first, and that was pretty good. The pass to Perry. To the left wing. They get a hand on it. Robertson with the steal. Now, Moutier, he's got 12. There's the dish to Hill. Moutier with the ball. Just five on the clock. From deep. The rebound by the Celtics. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the 76ers looked really strong. He finished with 13 points, and he was a free throw machine. A ton of his work done at the charity stripe. Just another fantastic showing in what has been a great stretch of basketball for him. All right, Doris. Well, guys, coming off a performance like that has got to have him supremely confident right now. No doubt. I, I guarantee he comes into today's game feeling there isn't anything he can't do on the floor right now. Tell you what, Greg, I think he might be right based on that last game. I'm inclined to agree with him. Thomas with the ball, picked up by Robertson. Here's Perry, stolen. Here's Clark. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Here's Robertson. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Robertson's got the lead up to 13 now for Denver. Now here's Thomas. He's covered closely. Pass to Perry. To the middle. Cauley Stein's shot is good. Cauley Stein's got his first bucket of the night. And bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Over to the wing. Jokic passes to Cardinal, and that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. Amir Johnson's.